This is the future. Evolution. This is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. And yes, the channel is still alive, it's still kicking. Although I haven't made any videos within the last um, month or so. There's just been a lot of things happening and... Um, retrenchments and stuff and nonsense and uh, at the moment everything is turning back to normal and I finally have some projects coming up some very interesting things that's going to happen over the next few weeks and so on so uh, you should stick around but for now we're going to fix a shower head let me show you what happened yesterday so before we start I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. So yesterday this whole shower head broke off. Look at that. I've been noticing the last few weeks that there is no water coming out it's only like dripping you know and on the head itself there's almost no water coming out i have to like run underneath to catch the drips as they are falling uh, the water drops just to get to shower so yesterday this shower head was was there and I thought, let me take a small screwdriver and just put it there inside the hole and just clean it out. And as I push against it, the whole thing breaks off. And then I noticed this. Ew, bloody ew. Look how blocked this pipe is. Now it's a bit more open because I did put a screwdriver yesterday in there to clean it out a bit. But now, the thread is broken off so i'm gonna to have to try and take a chisel or screwdriver and try and remove that piece of the head and then screw this head back in now as you guys also notice look how much um, thread is left on this pipe that tells me that it hasn't been screwed in totally at all it was barely in and I think that's also why it broke off. But this tiling is so thick that um, this cover plate, this um, plate that they had in here, I think the plate actually prevented the head from going in deep enough or being screwed in deep enough. So we're gonna try and get all that shit out. Oh, sorry. We're gonna try and get all that gunk out and then we're going to see if we can screw the head back. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm just going to take this screwdriver and see if I can get some of this nonsense out as far as it will allow me to go. Okay, but I can't record and do it at the same time, so let me just pause the recording. Okay, luckily I've got this thin chisel. I've put it in there. I'm going to take my multi-spanner or shifting as we call it here and I'm going to try and see if I can loosen that piece um, of the pipe that's stuck in there let's see if that works um, I did put some degreaser in there um, just to see if I can see the threads better and to clean the threads out I took a lot of the nonsense out that was in there so um, let's see if I can uh, get that pieces of thread up. Okay, I'm starting to chip pieces of this old um, thread out. So I'm just going to continue until I can get a, a clean thread. But it seems like everything, this, this thin piece here, is part of the old head that's stuck in there. So it's going to be a bit of a mission to get it out. 
but we will try. And you think you drink water that's coming out of pipes looking like that. Ew. Okay guys, don't worry about that. This is a bit unorthodox, but it's working. So what I did is, um, I got most of the, the stuff out, but not everything. So I need to clean the thread and I don't have a tap. Not that tap. Uh, <laughs> a thread cutter that you use to cut the, the pipes. So anyway, um, the thread on this tap is much stronger than the head. So I'm using the threads on this tap to actually clean the threads that's left inside the pipe. And then I'm going to attempt to put the screw, the, the shower head back. But this works actually very, very nice. I can actually just put the shower head back up there and, and, and create a whole new different look. <laughs> but anyway, um, let me finish cleaning the thread and then I'm going to see if I can get that shower head back on. So you guys are probably wondering, how do you clean the threads? Well, you put in your tap and you just wiggle it like this. That's all you do. And that's how you clean your threads. So I'm gonna just continue doing that and see if I can get as far as I can get. And then uh, we're gonna see, because the deeper I can put the, the head in, the better. This is working. Focus. Focus. Focusing on the wrong thing there. Almost, got it. Got it, yeah. It's almost working better than I thought. It's not even damaging this thread. And what's nice about the maneuver that I'm doing is while I'm cleaning the, thre the thread with this tab, it's even breaking out the old pieces of that old stupid head, breaking it out. So I'm going to continue doing that until I can't turn it anymore. And then we're going to put that other shower head back and see how it looks. I might have to take a saw and just saw this piece off and start putting it in by the new thread. Just because it's broken like this, I think it will be safer if I can just, you know, saw it down straight. Okay, look at all the stuff that came out of the head, uh, the pipe. I cleaned it now. And as you guys can see, this is where it broke off. So I'm going to attempt to screw it in deeper. Maybe if I can get it screwed in up to there, it'll be much better. But it seemed like it, it was just screwed in this few millimeters. As you guys can see, it was just a few threads. And that is what held the whole shower the whole time. Who knows for how many years. This house is more than... 15 years old I think so yeah um, I did clean it out and I took everything out so this is now fine and uh, I'm just going to clean the, the shower head itself and then we're going to see if I can screw this back okay I had to take the saw and cut it off because while I was trying to turn it in that pieces on the front was collapsing so now that I've um, so I sort it off. Let's see if I can screw this piece back. And there we go. It's back in. I must say, I still have to turn it one turn, but it gets stuck there. So I'm going to have to try and see if I can get it to turn down more. But if it doesn't work, I'm going to put that tap back and just put the shower head on the tap. I think it's going to look really interesting and I know it's going to work very nice. That's not if I can't get this one in correctly. Let's see what I can do. So while I was busy um, taking out the old pieces of thread, I found this O-ring right at the back. I just want to clean it and put this O-ring back because I'm sure this is supposed to be like uh, where the shower head seals. Although it's not going to work because the head doesn't go back as far as it should. But maybe it will help something somewhat. And then I will just uh, put the Teflon tape on. So, well, I want to put it back. I don't want to leave it out. So I'm just going to put it back. Okay, our O-ring is securely back in place. It's against the lip. Now let me uh, see if we can get this head on nice. Okay, guys, it's properly in now. I tighten it with a shifting by just holding it uh, there and tightening it. As you guys can see, there's no play whatsoever on it. 
Um, I did put the Teflon tape. Okay, good news. Seems like I'm not going to put any silicone on there. I uh, just close it down, open up the water a bit, build up some pressure. There was literally a drop coming out of there and then it stopped. That's why it's a little bit of water there, but it's not enough for me to worry about. So let me put the head back and uh, yeah, that thing bent, kind of. And then uh, that's it. Let me put the head back. Okay, shall we test? Oh, that's much better than it was. I'm gonna get wet. But it's fine. That's fully open. Yeah, that's much better than it was. Although some of these points are still a bit blocked, but I think that's the, the head inside itself. But that's much better. Job completed. Mission successful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to this channel. Because tomorrow, I'm getting, actually tonight, I'm getting my bike. My very first bike. Ever! My very first bike. Ever, 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 ever. So if you want to see the bike, you have to stay tuned. And also, I ordered some stuff from Timo. First time. I'm curious to see what the quality will be like. How long, it is gonna, how long am I going to wait for it? Well, at the moment, I've been waiting for it for five days. They say it should be here by the 11th. I just ordered some random stuff. So if you want to see what I got and what the quality is and what, what I think about it, stay tuned. Some interesting things coming. Until next time, guys, remember, keep it safe. Cheers.